guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. This is a video response to my really good friend Brad, aka Pro B Man 5. He posed the question, uh, it's actually a contest as well, but I just wanted to answer the question too, so whether I'm in the contest or not, awesome, because there are some cool prizes, check him out, but I wanted to answer the question anyway, so whether it was a contest or not doesn't really matter. Um, he said, what are some of the things you've learned from watching YouTube over the years, like um, people you've watched specifically? Um, I don't know if I'm going to name too many names, but I will touch upon a couple things. So, first and foremost, um, one of the main things I've noticed is the bonds I've gotten with these people. Um, you know, it may sound kind of weird because it's like you don't really know these people. They might be nuts or whatever. But from talking to them, I would say frequently or almost every day, um, you know, maintaining friendships, dropping each other emails, wishing each other a happy birthday. Some of them, you know, sending me things. Uh, I don't think I really sent too much out on my end. I apologize for that. I'm not a big mailer. Um, I hope I don't sound selfish. <laughs> so, uh, you know, things like that. I, I think it's funny to see how much you have in common with people, even if you are from a, across the uh, globe or if your opinions differ. So, for instance, um, the two people that pop to mind are Brad, ProBman5, and Shen Muso, um, two very vocal people who in some ways probably have different opinions than I do about certain things, whether it be uh, politics, religion, whatever. But the point is that you respect one another and that you, you know, you get past that. You say, okay, you know, if Mike believes A and I believe B, is that really hurting me or affecting me or hurting my family or friends? No. So we can move forward, still be really good friends, still talk about other things, different opinion and talk about that and just move on. And I've always appreciated that about people in, in life in general. But more so now, I'm, I'm noticing it on YouTube with these friends I've made. Um, so that's one thing. Um, again, I'm just going to kind of trail off and touch upon a few. Another thing that, that is uh, really been, and I hope I'm answering your question. I know, I know your question was a little more specific. Um, another thing I've noticed is negativity. And I've, I had a video about this a while back, uh, about comments people left that were negative. <clears throat> and how like life's too short to be negative all the time. It, it also ties in with being on YouTube in general. I don't really want to sit back and watch someone negative all the time. Uh, I tend to pass over those kinds of videos or maybe just listen a little bit of it and then after I hear this tone or, you know, it, it, it almost says to me like, well, in real life when you're out there interacting with people, how are you acting? Because if you're always negative behind a camera by yourself trying to, you know, put your best side out there, then what are you in the real world? You, you, you it's it's just sad, you know, I, I just don't have time for that negativity um, with people all the time. I'd rather be positive, be, be uh, you know, in a good mood and talk, talk with like-minded people or even not like-minded people, but that are good people, that are fun and interesting, that we can share ideas and thoughts and interests and, you know, have a good time. Again, life is too short to be so negative. So that's, that's another thing I've, I've noticed through watching YouTubers who just kind of rant on and on or bash things or everything sucks and they don't like it so therefore it, it's, you know, the law, uh, things like that. Um, another thing I, I've really come across that I've really been grateful of that ties in with my first comment with making friends is um, two people specifically, uh, Mark from Gr formerly of Graveside Entertainment and um, Doomlord I believe is his band name that he was doing for a little while. Uh, I was part of Graveside Entertainment for a while, helping them out with a little review here or there. They were like plugging me. We were doing a podcast on occasion, or I think we did one, honestly. And Mark and I just have a great, great relationship. We really um, are on the same page with a lot of our opinions and, and thoughts. And uh, he's in Canada, I'm in New York. So hopefully one day I will be uh, in his area and vice versa. And we can, we can get the families together and, and hang out, maybe go to dinner or something. So uh, him and... Um, Another guy I've become really good friends with, Jared from Project COE. Uh, I guess, you know, I'm not, I'm not demeaning or downing any other friendships I have on YouTube, but these are people that I speak with daily, um, or almost daily. Brad, you as well, I speak with you almost daily. And, um, you know, it's just really nice to have these, these friendships with people that just, um, you know, you can maintain or establish through the internet. I've done it years ago. I had a, a friend, this is a funny story to really segue off, that I would play Quake with online. His name was Jason. I'm going to send this to you, Jason. Hello. And his wife, Juliana. 
And uh, what happened was I was talking to Jason, and uh, this is not to toot my own horn or pat myself on the back. Jason was kind of shy. Juliana was kind of shy. I became friends with both of them, but, you know, her through him from playing Quake with him or Quake 2. I don't remember which one. And uh, he had told me he had this very big crush on her, and she told me the same, but they were both shy. So I kind of pushed them into, hey, you guys really care about each other. Why don't you just start dating? And uh, they didn't live in the same state, but they ended up moving in together, getting married, and uh, it always really makes me feel happy and special that these two people kind of came together from me pushing them a little bit. Uh, they had it in them, but they just need that little extra shove. So uh, they're good friends, and uh, you know I love seeing photos of them together, happy and stuff, because it's it's just great. So all these things I've, I've come across on the internet in general, but also on YouTube. And finally, the the main answer, I guess, to your question, which is, have you learned anything specific from watching people on YouTube that has um, affected you? Uh, one YouTuber, and specifically, who I, I consider myself a good friend with, I don't really talk through email or phone with him uh, like I do with other YouTubers. Uh, I, I think he's a little shy, no offense, um, but through YouTube we, we chat a lot. And uh, that is Sandom Todd, uh, Adam. He is a really, uh, he looks like a gentle giant, for lack of a better term. Uh, you know, if you saw him on the street with his long beard and his sunglasses, you know, kind of gruff looking, you might say, damn, this guy in a biker gang or something, you know what I mean? That's the kind of look he gives off. Kind of like when I have my mustache and people would say, like, you look a little rough and tumble, but I'm really not. I'm a sweetheart, or so I think. So, uh, he, he's just a great guy, and he, he put this video up, which uh, really saddened me, but, but put things in perspective, too. His mother had passed away, and he did almost like a vlog about, you know, how he felt and how things were going for him after his mother had passed and what he was going through. And then he did like this beautiful montage with video clips of his family and him and his mom with this music, this, you know, sad music or music she liked, I think, and uh, it kind of smacked me in the face and said, you know, I, I always try to reinforce this, uh, whether it be through thought or my tattoos have a lot of reinforcements people don't know about, but Adam's video did this to me, where it reinforces the thought of appreciate the time you have here, appreciate the people around you that you love and care about, and your friends and your family, parents especially, wife, husband, and, uh, you know, don't be so negative all the time. There, there, there's just you know, bigger fish to fry, and uh, so Adam's videos were really touching, and watching them really tugged on my heartstrings, and uh, hopefully this video isn't too sappy. So, uh, Sandem Todd, you know, is a big, uh, a big part of that. So, um, check out his videos, check out Pro B Man 5, Brad, check out Project COE, and all these other people I mentioned that I care about, that are, are becoming very good friends, and ha are good friends. Um, and that's really it. It's, uh, I hope, hope I answered your question. I know I went all over the place like usual. It was just tangent after tangent. So thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.